Good evening and welcome back to Stalling Stadium at Elm Street Park in Greenville, North Carolina. We have the last pool play game of the day on tap for you and it's going to pit the North Carolina state champion from Greenville, North Carolina, Tar Heel Little League versus the North Carolina runner-up, Wilson City Little League. Tar Heel Little League will be the visiting team in their home ballpark and I'll bring you their starting lineup. Number five, Rook Niddle behind the plate. Number six, Landon Scott playing second base. Number three, Parker Simo part starting on the mound. Number 12, Tice Thompson playing right field. Number 10, Chase Davis playing third. Number seven, Webb Evans playing first. Number eight, Matthew Tindall playing center field. Number nine, Luke Tindall playing left field. And number two, the shortstop, Landon Brown. The subs for Tar Heel are number one, William Litchfield. Number four, Sullivan Cobb. Number 11, Kaysen Chase. And number 13, A.B. Doughty. The coaches for Tar Heel Little League are Barry Simo, and Roman Niddle. The manager is Corey Scott. Your starting lineup for Wilson City Little League. Number 11, Mac Wiggins playing second base. Number 14, Cam Eford behind the plate. Number 12, Stone Massey at first. Number 10, Landon High at third. Number 20, Charlie Scott playing shortstop. Number two, Cotter Lewis playing center field. Number six, Angel Saldana playing left field. Number one, TJ Coleman in right field. And number five, Peyton Gardner on the mound. The substitutes for Wilson Little League are Joseph Popowicz, Number 21, Tanner Pierce. Double zero, Jake Joyner. Number seven, Trey Mills. The Wilson City Little League squad is coached by Zach Wiggins and Dewey Scott, and the manager is Eric Lewis.
The starting battery for the Wilson City Little Leaguers is going to be Cam Eford behind the plate. And Peyton Gardner is on the mound as the Wilson squad takes the field. Due up here in the top of the first for Tar Heel, Rook Niddle, Landon Scott, and Parker Simo. Both teams lost one run games yesterday, Wilson in extra innings. Today is a must win game for both if they have any hopes of advancing out of pool play. Interesting that these two teams, they are not in the same district when it comes to North Carolina Little League Baseball, but they are only located about 30 miles apart. All right, and we're ready for first pitch. Rook Niddle, number five, the starting catcher for Tar Heel, heads to the plate. Niddle, a left-handed batter, facing the right-handed pitching Gardner, and the first pitch hits Niddle, and Tar Heel is in business. Landon Scott, number six, steps into the box. Scott also a lefty. And first pitch he sees from Gardner. High and outside for ball one. One oh count. And Scott drives that ball in the left field. Oh, I'm sorry, right field over to right fielder's head. Niddle around second, digging for third. Scott going for third. Play to play, not in time, and Tar Heel is on the board, one nothing. Landon Scott with the triple, scores Niddle from first. And Tar Heel is in business. Parker Simo, starting pitcher at the plate, another lefty. And Simo fouls that pitch off to the left for strike one. What a pitch, bounces in. Nice block by the catcher to keep it in front. No advance on the play. 1-1 one, one count on Simo. Pitch on the way, and that ball is drilled over the head of the left fielder. Simo hustles around first and is in the second with a double. Scott scores on the play, and Tar Heel quickly has two runs. Tice Thompson, number 12, will be at the plate. We're going to have a quick meeting on the mound for Wilson.
it looks like we're going to have our first pitching change of the evening. Angel Saldana coming in to pitch for Wilson City Little League. Peyton Garner through six pitches will be eligible to pitch tomorrow. Gardner gave up a hit by pitch, a double, and a triple. Tice Thompson coming to the plate for Tar Heel. Number 12, the right fielder for the boys in white and green. Angel Saldano on the mound for Wilson. Going from the stretch and the first pitch to Thompson. And that ball is driven deep in the center field for a two run bomb. Angel Saldana is greeted rudely by Tice Thompson. And Tar Heel is quickly up for nothing. Chase Davis, number 10, the third baseman for Tar Heel, steps in. And the first pitch he sees from Saldana is fouled straight back for strike one. Davis, number 10. 0 1 pitch on the way. And Davis takes inside for ball one. One one count on Davis. Saldana kicks, fires, and that catches Davis in the shoulder, and he'll trot down to first base. Webb Evans, starting first baseman for Tar Heel, number seven steps in, right-handed batter. And the first pitch he sees from Saldana is low for ball one. One-o -oh count, pitch on the way. Catches the corner at the knees for strike one. One-one count on Evans, nobody out. Tar Heel up 4 0 here in the top of the first. And Evans fouls that pitch straight back for strike two. Evans down 1 2. Runner at first, no outs. Pitch on the way. And that is softly lined into right field. And it appears that the batter is out on the play.
by apologies, not the batter. It appears the runner may be out that was on first. Umpires are having a conference. Maybe in question that, okay, and now the runner at second has been ruled safe. It appears that the initial call may have been interference on the base runner and the first baseman. Everyone is safe. Matthew Tyndall steps into the box. The center fielder, left-handed batter, number eight. Runners on first and second, nobody out. Shows bunt, pulls back, takes outside for ball one. One-0 count, pitch on the way. Tyndall shows bunt again, takes outside, ball two. Two-0 count, the pitch comes in low. Nice job by the catcher to block the ball at the plate. No advance on the play. Rio count on Tyndall. Saldana delivers. And that catches the outside corner for strike one. Saldana with the 3 1 pitch delivers, shows bunt. Bunted foul for strike two. Full count on Tyndall. Payoff pitch on the way, and that goes outside for ball four. Bases are juiced. Luke Tyndall at the plate. Starting left fielder for the Tar Heel squad, number nine. Wilson playing with the infield in, trying to cut down another run at the plate. 
and Tyndall cuts on the first pitch he sees, fouls it off to the right for strike one. A one count on Tyndall. Pitch skips in, picked by the catcher. No advance on the play. One ball, one strike. Luke Tyndall at the plate, Matthew Tyndall at first, no relation. Webb Evans at second, Chase Davis at third. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way, and Tyndall drives that ball into center field. Center fielder comes on, makes a running catch, play at the plate. Runner caught between third and home. We've got a rundown, and the runner is tagged out. The other Tar Heel runners move up 60 feet each. Davis out on the play. Two quick outs for Wilson. Not out of danger yet. Landon Brown, number two, the starting shortstop for Tar Heel at the plate, swings through the first pitch for strike one. And Brown fouls the 0-1 pitch back off the net. Nice catch made on the run by the catcher for strike two. O2 count on Brown. Saldana kicks, delivers. Just off the plate for ball one. Catcher set up outside. Pitcher hit his spot, but that was nowhere near the plate. And Brown swings through the 1-2 offering, and Wilson is out of inning. Not before Tar Heel puts four runs on the board, courtesy of a hit by pitch, a double, a triple, and a two-run home run. At the end of one half inning of play, Greenville Tar Heel four, Wilson City Little League coming to bat. Starting battery for the Greenville Tar Heel All-Stars. Rook Niddle behind the plate, and Parker Simo is on the mound. Due up for Wilson City Little League this inning. Mac Wiggins, Cam Eford, and Stone Massey.
Mac Wiggins, number 11, the starting second baseman for Wilson, steps into the box, right-handed hitter facing the left-handed throwing Parker Simo, and Simo delivers down the middle of the plate for strike one. 0-1 pitch on the way from Simo, and Wiggins chopper down third, goes foul. Two quick strikes on Mac Wiggins. Pitch on the way from Simo, skips in for ball one. Simo, a lefty. Kicks, delivers, and that catches the outside corner for strike three. Looked like Simo might have thrown an off-speed pitch that backdoored Wiggins for the first out. Cam Eford, number 14, the starting catcher for Wilson, steps in. Another righty. And he takes low for ball one. What a pitch on the way from Simo. Outside for ball two. Simo from the windup, kicks, delivers. Right down Broadway for strike one. Two one count on Eford. Pitch from Simo comes in low for ball three. Three-one count for Eford. And that ball is inside, and Wilson has their first base runner of the game. Stone Massey, number 12, the starting first baseman for Wilson, steps in. Another righty, off-speed pitch from Simo, floats outside for ball one. pitch on the way and that catches Massey on the right elbow and he will trot down to first base. Wilson City Little League with their first runner in scoring position. One out, runners on first and second. It's going to bring up the cleanup hitter Landon High. Landon Hyde, the starting third baseman for Wilson, steps in, another righty, and he takes low. For ball one. And it looks like we're gonna have a conference at the mound between manager Corey Scott and Parker Simo. Manager Corey Scott for the Tar Heel squad was a 1999 first team All American, NCAA All American as a pitcher at East Carolina University. He's the manager of this Tar Heel squad. 
Simo delivers outside for ball two. Two a pitch on the way. Low and in for ball three. Pitch on the way. Catches the outer third for called strike one. 3-1 count on Landon High, number 10 for Wilson. Pitch on the way and High rips that ball into left field. Left fielder almost has a play at third. The ball was hit so hard. Runners had to freeze. And Wilson has the bases loaded here in the bottom of the first. Charlie Scott, number 20, the shortstop for the Wilson squad, steps in. And lines the ball right into the glove of the shortstop for Tar Heel. Tar Heel shortstop playing deep, dives to his backhand side and makes the play for the first out, second out. Connor Lewis, number two, center fielder for Wilson, swings through the first pitch he sees for strike one. Lewis takes outside for ball one. Bases loaded, two outs, Wilson threatening. And Lewis swings through the 1 1 pitch for strike two. One two pitch on the way, and Lewis goes down swinging. Wilson City Little League leaves the bases loaded here in the bottom of the first at the end of one complete. Greenville Tar Heel four, Wilson City Little League nothing.
And we're back to the live action here at Stalling Stadium at Elm Street Park. We're back to the top of the order for the Tar Heel squad. Rook Middle started the game off being hit by pitch, came around to score on Landon Scott's triple. Angel Saldano back on the mound for his second inning of work. He finished his first inning on 21 pitches. Parker Simo finishes his first inning of work for Tar Heel with 21. First pitch to Niddle is outside for ball one. Second pitch on the way. Just off the plate for ball two. Saldana working from the wind up. Gets a sign, kicks, delivers. And that catches down her third for a called strike. Count 2 1 on Rook Middle. Pitch on the way. And that skips in for ball three. Three one count on Niddle. Pitch on the way. High for ball four. Rook Niddle draws a leadoff walk. Landon Scott, number six, steps in and a left handed hitting second baseman for Tar Heel, tripled in the first. And Scott takes outside for ball one. Scott came in to score on the Parker Simo double. One-0 count on Scott. Saldana kicks. And Scott hammers that ball into the left center field gap. Niddle rounding second, going for third, and he's in there. Scott. Hustles around first, goes into second. Landon Scott with a double and a triple on the evening. As going to bring number three, Parker Simo, to the plate. Simo doubled in the first and came around to score on the Tice Thompson home run. Saldana kicks, delivers, and that's outside for ball one. Wilson City Little League with the infield in, trying to cut down the run at the plate. one count on Simo. And Simo takes right down the middle for strike one. One one count on Simo, left-handed batter. And Simo is late on the fastball, fouls it off to the left for strike two. One two pitch on the way from Saldana. High and outside for ball two. Saldana now going from the stretch. Kicks, fires. Outside for ball three. Simo has worked the count full. Runners on second and third, no outs. Tar Heel threatening again, leading 4 nothing in the top of the second. Nobody out. Full count on Simo. And Simo hits that in the center field. Center fielder comes off, makes a catch, play at the plate. 
Oh, the throw hits the runner in the helmet. Rook Niddle is safe at the plate. Throw was a little offline. Hit him in the back of the helmet, bounced off the netting. Scott goes into third. Parker Simo with the sack fly. RBI. One out, one run in for Tar Heel. Landon Scott on third, Tice Thompson with the big blow in the first. Takes low and away for ball one. Thompson with a big two out bomb to dead center. In the first, steps into the box, 1-0 count, and Thompson promptly drops a single into center field. RBI single for Tice Thompson. Scott scores on the play. And Tar Heel goes up 6 0. Tice Thompson with his third RBI of the game, and it's only the second inning. And it looks like we're going to have a conference on the mound with the Wilson City Little League squad. And we're going to have a pitching change for Wilson. I'll give you those changes when we come back. All right, we're back, and looks like number 10, Landon High, is going to take the mound for Wilson. Angel Saldana throws 36 pitches. He will be rolled back to 35, will be eligible to pitch day after tomorrow if Wilson makes it out of pool play. We also have a change on the basis for the Tar Heel squad. Kaysen Chase takes the spot of Landon uh, Tice Thompson at first as a special pinch runner. Number 10, Chase Davis at the plate, swings through the, through the first pitch he sees from Landon High for strike one. Davis was hit by a pitch at the first and Davis cuts on the 0-1 offering, fouls it off to the right for strike two. O2 count on Davis. Davis was hit by a pitch in the first. And Davis with a soft pop on the infield. Landon High makes the play, fields his position for the second out. And we're going to have our first sub at the plate for Tar Heel. A.B. Dottie is going to hit in the sixth spot for Webb Evans. And foul ball. Ball goes off the knob of the bat. 
for strike one. Dottie, number 13, right-handed batter. And Dottie cuts on the second pitch and lifts it high on the infield into the glove of the second baseman for the third out. Tar Hill scratches two more runs. At the end of one and a half, Tar Hill leads six nothing. Leading off the bottom of the second inning for Wilson is going to be number six, Angel Saldana. And the first pitch he sees from Parker Simo is fouled back out of play to the right for strike one. Landon High finishes the inning for Wilson on five pitches. And the 0-1 pitch comes in and catches Saldana on the knee or the shin possibly. He's limping down to second. He's going to take a couple minutes to shake that off. Two up next for Wilson. Number one, the right fielder, T.J. Coleman. It looks like we're going to have a special pitch runner. Looks like we're going to have a special pitch runner. Joseph Popovich takes the place of Angel Saldana at first. And we have our first sub of the game for Wilson. Number seven is at the plate. Shows Bunt, gets it down. No play at second. Tar Heel gets the out at first. Number seven, Trey Mills with the sack bunt. Moves Joseph Popovich over to second into scoring position. Pete 
Peyton Gardner at the plate, number five. And Gardner swings through the first pitch he sees for strike one. O oh, one count on Gardner, and Gardner with a two hopper out to short. Short fields, throws over to first in time to get Gardner. Popovich goes to third on the play, two outs for Tar Heel. And we're back to the top of the order for Wilson. Mac Wiggins steps in. Wiggins went down looking in the first. And Wiggins takes on the outside corner for strike one. Oh, one pitch on the way from Simo. All speed comes in high for ball one. One one count on Wiggins, Simo fires. Off speed again, high and outside. Ball two. Well, equipment malfunction for Parker Simo in the mound. He's set. 2-1 count on Mac Wiggins. Simo fires. And Wiggins with the hopper off the mound. Shortstop bobbles it. Run comes in to score for Wilson. Wiggins reaches on an error. Joseph Popovich scores on the play. Ball was redirected by the mound. And Wilson is on the board. Cam Eford at the plate, walked into first, got stranded at third. And Eford takes at the knees on the outer third for strike one. O one one count on Eford. Simo kicks, delivers, catches the corner again for strike two. O2 count on Eford. Simo comes inside for ball one. Pitch on the way. Fouled off at the plate. Eford stays alive. One-two pitch on the way. Slow roller down to third, third baseman fields, throws to first to end time to get Eford for the third out. Wilson is able to scratch a run in the bottom of the second. At the end of two complete, Tar Heel leads six to one.
couple of changes. Number zero, Jake Joyner enters the game for Angel Saldana. And at the plate, William Litchfield is batting for Matthew Tyndall in the seventh spot to lead off the inning for Tar Heel. Litchfield quickly ahead 2-0. Litchfield takes again for ball three. High with the delivery, catches the outside corner for strike one. Litchfield, a lefty. His first at bat of the game. And Litchfield takes low for ball four. Casey Chase enters the game for Tar Heel, number 11. Shows bunt, gets it down. Chase hustling down first, beats the throw. Casey Chase with a bunt single. Sullivan Cobb comes to the plate, left-handed hitter, batting for Landon Brown. And Cobb takes right down the middle for strike one. Runners on first and second, no out. Cobb shows bunt, takes at the letters for strike two. O2 count on Cobb. And Cobb takes low and away for ball one. William Litchfield at second. Case and Chase at first. Sullivan Cobb at the plate. And Cobb lifts that ball high down the left field line, out of play, stays alive. One, two count on Cobb, and he takes outside for ball two. Two, two pitch on the way, and Cobb lines that pitch up the middle for a single. That's going to bring us back around to the top of the order for Tar Heel. Rook Niddle coming to the plate for his third at bat of the game. I'm sorry, third plate appearance. He has no official at bats yet. Hit by pitch in the first, walked in the second. Came around to score both times. Niddle takes outside for ball one. Parker Simo finished two complete innings of work on 35 pitches. If Tar Heel makes it out of pool play, he will be eligible to pitch again on Tuesday. And it looks like we're going to have a conference at the mound for the Wilson squad.
Rook Niddle at the plate. 2-0 count. Landon High on the mound. And Niddle takes outside for ball three. Bases are juiced for Tar Heel. Wilson with the infield in. And Niddle takes it off the plate again for ball four. William Litchfield comes in to score. Landon Scott steps in the box. Scott is two for two with a double and a triple. Scott takes low for ball one. Scott takes high for ball two. Landon High works past the 20 pitch mark. He's at 24. Pitch on the way. Low for ball three. Three-o count on Scott. Pitch on the way. Right down the middle for strike one. Three-one count. High delivers. Pitch comes in high for ball four. Case of Chase scores on the play. And it looks like we're going to have a pitching change for Wilson.
Pitching change for Wilson. I'll get that as soon as I have a number. Parker Simo at the plate. And Simo takes right down the middle for called strike one. Simo is officially one for one with an RBI. Two RBIs. No outs, bases juiced. And Simo takes on the inner third for strike two. New pitcher for Wilson is T.J. Coleman. And 0-2 offering floats low and away for ball one. Coleman kicks, delivers. Simo takes high for ball two. Coleman was the right fielder. Left-handed thrower. Kicks, delivers. And Simo goes down looking. Tice Thompson comes to the plate. Thompson, two for two, home run and a single. And the first pitch Thompson sees is low and in for ball one. One zero count on Thompson. And that delivery from Coleman is outside for ball two. Two-o count on Tice Thompson. Coleman stays outside for ball three. Coleman delivers. And that's high for ball four. Sully Cobb comes in to score on the play. Rook Nittle moves over to third. Landon Scott goes to second. Tice Thompson at first after a one-out walk. Chase Davis at the plate, and Davis cuts on the first pitch he sees, fouls it off to the right for strike one. Davis 0 for 1, hit by pitch, and flew out to first. Davis cuts again, fouls it straight back for strike two. Two count on Davis. Coleman with the delivery. And that ball is ripped down the right field line. Gets into the corner. Davis hustling around first. Right fielder gets the ball in. Landon Scott comes in to score. Rook Nittle scores. Chase Davis with the two RBI double. Tice Thompson goes from first to third. A.B. Doughty is batting again for Webb Evans. Webb Evans hit in the first. A.B. Doughty came in in the second. Evans returned to the field. Doughty is officially 0 for 1. Doughty takes high and outside for ball one. Tar Heel, five runs in this inning. One out. Runners on second and third, A.B. Doughty at the plate, number 13, 
and Donnie lifts the ball high on the infield, shortstop settles under it, makes the catch for the second out. And we're back to William Litchfield. Litchfield led off the inning with a walk, eventually came around to score. And Litchfield is late on the fastball for strike one. Litchfield late again, fouls it off to the right, left. Strike two, Litchfield a left-handed batter. O2 count on Litchfield. Coleman trying to work out of this inning. And Litchfield takes low and in for ball one. One two pitch on the way, low and in again for ball two. Lefty lefty action, lefty on lefty action here. Deuce is wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners on second and third. Pitch on the way. Comes in high for ball three. Full count on William Litchfield. Wilson trying to work out of the inning. Pitch is on the way. And that skips in for ball four. Gets away from the catcher. Tice Thompson crosses the plate. And Litchfield scoots down to second. Case and Chase is intentionally walked, and that's going to bring Sullivan Cobb to the plate. Cobb takes in for ball one. Cobb singled earlier this inning. Eventually came around to score. Cobb takes in at the letters for ball two. Bases loaded. Cobb takes right down Broadway for strike one. A little bit of an odd defensive alignment. Shortstop and third base are playing even with the bag. And Cobb delivers that pitch down the left field line. Cobb hustling around first. Case and Chase rounding third. Chase will score easily on the play. Sullivan Cobb clears the bases with the two out, three RBI double. And we will be back to the top of the order for the Tar Heel squad. Rook Niddle coming to the plate for his fourth at bat of the game. I'm sorry, fourth plate appearance. Niddle is officially zero for zero on the day with no official at bats. Sullivan Cobb at second, two outs. 
Tar Heel with nine runs crossing this inning. Up 15 to one. Pitch on the way, and that bounces past the catcher, and Cobb scoots down to third. one -oh count on middle. Coleman delivers, and Niddle with a chopper up the middle. And that ball goes through the legs of the center fielder. Right fielder over to back him up. Right fielder fields the ball. Niddle scoots into third. Rook Niddle with the RBI single goes to third on the air. Landon Scott at the plate. Scott takes on the outer third for strike one. Ball skips under Scott's feet for ball one. Pitch on the way, high for ball two. Two one count, and Scott hits a laser down the first base line just inside the bag fair. Scott hustling around second, rolling in the third with his th second triple of the evening. Niddle scores easily on the play. Parker Simo at the plate. And Simo lines the first pitch he sees right into the glove of the shortstop. And that will end the top half of the third inning. Tar Heel plates 11 runs to lead Wilson 17 to 1.
Looks like we have a battery change for the Tar Heel squad. Chase Davis now on the mound, number 10. And behind the plate is going to be number 12, Tice Thompson. Joseph Popowicz is entering the game for Stone Massey in the third spot. Bottom of the third inning. Davis first pitch he delivers is high for ball one. Popovich takes off the outside for ball two. Two o count on Popovich. Two o offering for Davis comes in low for ball three. Three o pitch on the way. And that's at the letters on the outer third for strike one. Three one count on Popovich. And Popovich is just out in front of that fastball. Pulls it foul down the left field line. Count goes full on Popovich. Full count pitch on the way. Just off the plate, and Popovich has a leadoff walk. Tanner Pierce enters the game for Landon High, swings at the first pitch he sees. Rips the ball down the third base line. Landon's got the new third baseman for Tar Heel. Catches the ball on the bounce before it goes foul. Fires to second. Throw pulls the second baseman off the bag. Runner at first had not advanced. Second baseman goes back and tags the bag for the out. Now at the plate, Charlie Scott, number 20, lined out to the shortstop in the first. One one count on Scott. And Scott Woodhopper out the second, just gets past the second baseman. And everyone is safe. Scott reaches on the E4. Connor Lewis at the plate. And Lewis is out in front of that fastball from Chase Davis. Hammers it foul. Tice Thompson wants to go out to the mound, talk to his pitcher. Quick conference.
and the 0-1 pitch is outside for ball one. One one pitch on the way from Davis and he steps off. One one pitch on the way. Connor Lewis out in front of that offering for strike two. One two count. Pitch on the way. Off speed floats in high for ball two. Two two pitch on the way. Lewis out in front of that one. Chops it foul down third. And 2-2 pitch lifted into left field. The left fielder tripped up. Ball falls harmlessly to the ground. Runners only advance one base on the play. And the bases are now loaded. Jake Joyner at the plate. First at bat of the day for Mr. Joyner. Joyner takes on the outer third for a strike. Count even, one ball, one strike. Pitch on the way, and Joyner lines the ball at the second baseman. Second baseman knocks it down. Makes the play at second, run scores on the play. Fielder's choice RBI for Jake Joyner. Runners at first and third. Number one, TJ Coleman at the plate. Coleman takes outside for ball one, then takes high for ball two. Jake Joyner goes down to second. And Joyner cuts on the 2-0 pitch. I'm sorry, Coleman cuts on the 2-0 pitch, fouls it off down the third base line for strike one. Two-one pitch on the way from Davis. Outside for ball three. And Coleman takes high for ball four. Peyton Gardner at the plate. And Gardner has to duck out of the way of that first pitch for ball one. Bases are juiced for Wilson City Little League here in the top of the bottom of the third inning. And that ball is chopped foul down the third base line for strike one.
One one count on Gardner. Pitch on the way from Davis. Catches the outer third for strike two. One two pitch on the way. And that's outside for ball two. Deuce is wild here in the bottom of the third. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Base is loaded. Peyton Gardner at the plate, and Gardner takes that 2 2 pitch and drops it into left field. One run comes in to score. Throw comes home. No play. Wilson base runners advance 60 feet. RBI single for Peyton Gardner. Back to the top of the order and Mac Wiggins and Wiggins cuts on the first pitch he sees, fouls it back off the net for strike one. pitch, drills Wiggins right in the middle of the back. Run scores on the play, Wiggins trying to walk it off. Wiggins shakes it off, takes a spot at first. That's going to bring. That's going to bring Cam Eford to the plate. Eford is 0 for 1, reached on a walk, and grounded out to third. Eford takes on the outer third for called strike one. Base is still loaded for Wilson. Three runs in this inning. They've cut the Tar Heel lead to 13. Pitch on the way, and Eford cuts on the 0-1 offering, fouls it off down the right field line for strike two. O2 pitch on the way. Floats in high for ball one. One, two count, Davis delivers, and Eford's out in front of the fastball. Stays alive. One, two count, still on Eford. And Eford looks at the breaking ball for strike three. Wilson bats around in the bottom of the third, believes the base is loaded. Wilson scratches three, cuts the Tar Heel lead to 17 to four.
New pitcher for Wilson, Connor Lewis on the mound, number two. And Tice Thompson at the plate for Tar Heel. First pitch, Thompson sees fouled straight back for strike one. Lewis a righty going from the stretch. Kicks, delivers, and Thompson rifles that ball past the shortstop for a leadoff single. Thompson perfect on the day, three for three. Two singles, a bomb, and a walk. Chase Davis at the plate. Pitch from Lewis high off the glove at a catcher. And Thompson goes down to second. 1 0 count on Chase Davis. And the 1 0 offering is just off the plate for ball two. Pitch on the way. And Davis swings through that offering for strike one. Two on pitch, and Davis fouls that off at the plate for strike two. Pitch on the way, and that's fouled off to the left for Davis to stay alive. Two-two pitch, and Davis drives that into the left center field gap off the flower basket side. Thompson comes around to score, throw comes in, gets past the shortstop and the second baseman, and Davis goes into third, throw gets past him. Davis holds it third. RBI double for Chase Davis. Webb Evans coming to the plate. Evans um, singled in the first. Evans takes in for ball one. And Evans is out in front of that offering from Connor Lewis. Swings through it for strike one. Pitch on the way. And Evans lifts that ball high into shallow left field. Shortstop rages back a couple feet onto the grass and makes the catch. Matthew Tyndall at the plate, shows bunt, gets it down. Ball out front of the mound. Pitcher goes to look the runner at third back and Tyndall is safe. Matthew Tyndall with the bunt single. Luke Tyndall re-enters the game. Matthew Tyndall at first, Chase Davis at third. Pitch bounces in. Nice job blocking the ball by the Wilson catcher. Tyndall goes down to second, no advance from the runner at third. And 
Tindall lifts that ball in the air into left field. Left fielder comes on, makes a catch. Davis tags and scores on the play. Sack fly RBI for Luke Tindall. And Sullivan Cobb at the play, two for two on the day. And Cobb takes off the outside corner for ball one. Cobb takes again outside, no advance on the pass ball. Cobb takes low and outside for ball three. And Cobb takes right down Broadway for called strike one. Pitch on the way, and Cobb lines that ball past the diving shortstop for a two-out single. That's going to bring the leadoff batter, Rook Middle, to the plate. Top of the order up for Tar Heel. Pitch on the way, and Niddle takes low and in for ball one. One out count on Niddle, and Niddle lines that ball in the left center field. Center fielder comes over, cuts it off. Run scores on the play for Tar Heel for their 20th run. That's going to bring Landon Scott up. And Scott cuts on the first pitch he sees, fouls it off the end of the bat for strike one. Scott takes the 0-1 offering on the outer third for strike two. O2 two count on Scott, and he ducks under ball one. One two pitch on the way, and Scott rolls that over to the first baseman. First baseman takes it himself, and Wilson is out of inning. Tar Heel scores three to extend their lead to 20 to four. After three and a half, Tar Heel 20, Wilson coming to bat.
Leading off the bottom of the fourth for Wilson City Little League is Joseph Popovich. And the first pitch Popovich sees, he lifts into shallow center field. Shortstop goes out and makes the catch. I believe that was Rook Nittle going out to make the catch in front of the charging center fielder. And it looks like Landon High is going to re-enter the game and bat. First pitch to high is high and in for ball one. New pitcher for Tar Heel is Luke Tyndall. And high hits a two hopper out to short. Nittle fields the ball, fires to first for out number two. Looks like number 20, Charlie Scott, stepping into the box. This will be the last chance for Wilson. They need seven runs to continue the game. Scott takes in for ball one. Tyndall from the windup. Kicks, delivers. Just off the outside corner for ball two. Pitch on the way, and that's lifted into shallow right center. Scott goes back, dives, ball goes just off the tip of his glove, and Wilson is still alive. Connor Lewis at the plate. And Lewis cuts on the first pitch he sees, fouls it off for strike one. Pitch on the way. And Lewis is out in front of that fastball from Luke Tyndall, fouls it out of play down the third base line for strike two. Two quick strikes on Connor Lewis. And the changeup reached out a little poke. Landon Scott fields it on the bounce, steps on the bag, and that is the ball game, folks. The Tar Heel Bats come alive, put up 20 runs in four innings, courtesy of a big 11-run inning in the third. And take out Wilson City Little League 20 to 4. Greenville Tar Heel goes to 1 and 1 in pool play. Wilson City Little League goes to 0 and 2. Come back tomorrow, join us. We'll be on the air a little bit before 10 a.m. for the last day of pool play from Greenville, North Carolina, and Stalling Stadium in Elm Street Park. Everyone have a good night and drive home safely.